Hello everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to do this strawberry granny square tote bag. I hope you will enjoy this video and without further ado, let's jump into it. For this bag, I will be using double knit yarn. I have pink and I will use about 100 grams for the granny squares, 30 grams for a strawberry, 30 grams for leaves and 30 grams for joining the granny squares and handles. Then 4.5 millimeter hook, needle and pair of scissors. To start it off, you want to grab your color that you want to make your granny with and make a either magic circle or chain four and join it together. And this is how you do a magic circle. Let me show you this one more time. You want to grab your tail in front of you, wrap your working yarn, making an X like this, put your hook behind the first strand and grab your second one, take it off and chain one to secure. This is how you make a magic circle or you can make a slip knot, then chain four, and then you can go into the very last chain here and make a slip knot. And this is your circle that you would be working in. And I prefer a chain of four joined together because this is not gonna get any bigger while magic circle can kind of spread out but it's optional and you can do either of them once you've got your ring chain three this is gonna count as first double crochet and do another two into the center of your either magic circle or chain of four And to do a double, you just yarn over, go into the center, pull up a loop, you will have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this is a cluster of three double crochets. Then you want to chain two and do another three double crochets. Then again, chain two and do three double crochets. And one more time, chain two and do three double crochets. You will have four clusters in total for your first round. Don't forget to chain two to create corner space for this one as well. And go into your third chain here with a slip stitch. To begin your second round, you want to chain three. This is again your double crochet. Then make double crochet in the next stitch, another double in the next, and you have reached your corner. So do two double crochets, then chain two, and do another two double crochets into that same chain two space. Then you will need to do three double crochets in those three stitches. Then 
and then you should have reached your corner again which will have two doubles chain two and two doubles Again, three doubles. And this is your corner. So two doubles, chain two, and then two doubles into that same space again. And then there is three doubles and one corner left. And after you do those three doubles, all you're left to do is two doubles, chain two, and then two doubles. And to finish this round off, you want to slip stitch it with the chain three to close it. Then to start another round, chain three again. This is counts as your double crochet. And keep doing double crochets in all stitches until you reach your corner space. into that chain two space as always you will be doing two double crochets then chain two and two double crochets then you will do double crochet in all of those stitches until you reach the corner And in your corner, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And then you want to repeat double crochets in all stitches, do your corner, which is two doubles, chain two, two doubles, do double crochet in all of them, do your corner, and I will meet you there. And once you're done your corner, you will have two double crochets to do. So just do them before we join, and to join, go into the third chain and make a slip knot and then we need to do another round but you probably know already how to do this so start off by chaining three make double crochets until you reach your corner space Into corner, do two double crochets, and then chain two, and do another two double crochets. And then you will need to do double crochets 
your corner, double crochet is corner, and so on until you come all around. So I'm just gonna do that and I will meet you at the end. Once you complete your last corner, all you left to do is double crochets. So finish these off. And join it with the third chain here with the slip stitch. Then to secure, chain one. And you can then create your yarn off, leaving a bit of a tail. Straight away, you can grab your needle and hide those tails. making sure you pull tight on the initial one to close the ring. And hide this one as well. You can then cut off both of those tails. And set this granny square aside. Now I'm gonna do my strawberry. So I have my red yarn here and I will start off by making a slip knot. Then chain three. And starting into second chain from your hook, you want to do two single crochets into that one chain. And do another two single crochets into your last chain. And you will have four stitches in total. And doing two single crochets is called increase. Once you've got your four stitches, chain one turn your work do increase in the first stitch here so two single crochets do one single crochet and then one into second and you and then you will need to do single crochet increase in your last stitch So this makes it six single crochets all together. Chain one and turn your work. Now you will need to do increase in the first one. Then do four single crochets in each stitch. And into your last one, another increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. And this makes it eight stitches. Chain one and turn your work. Now do eight single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. And at the end, chain one. Then turn your work and now we will do increase in the first stitch. Then again, we will do 
six single crochets. And another increase in the last stitch. And you will have 10 stitches for this round. Chain one and turn your work. And single crochet 10 across. So one single crochet in each stitch. At the end, chain one and turn your work. And then increase in the first stitch again. Do eight single crochets until you have one stitch left. And do increase in your last stitch. And you will have 12 stitches all together. Chain one, turn your work and do 12 single crochets. So one stitch in every single crochet. Then at the end of your row, chain one, turn your work, and now we will do decreases. So pull up a loop in the first stitch, pull up a loop in the next, yarn over and pull all three loops. Continue making single crochets until you have two stitches left. So across eight single crochets. And once you have two of them left, pull up a loop in one and the next one and pull through all three. This is how it looks so far. And now the last step is to crochet all around. So straight away, starting in this space here, make a single crochet and kind of go around where you can find a spot Go in with your hook and make a single crochet. And don't worry if it kind of curls up. That's no problem because we will be sewing it on top of our granny. And when you come around, make single crochets in those stitches as well until you reach your very first one. And at the end, where your first single crochet is, pull up a loop and make a slip knot. Then chain one and cut your yarn off, leaving quite a bit of a tail so we can sew this on top later on. And if you haven't carried your tail, uh, you will need to hide it in. I did carry it in, so I'm just gonna cut it off. And I will set the strawberry aside now to make the leaf you want to make a magic circle again you grab your tail wrap around two fingers making an x put your hook behind the first one and grab your second strand chain one to secure and this is your magic circle you want to make four single crochets inside Pull 
pull your ring tight and we're not going to be working in rounds so chain one and turn your work you have four stitches here and you want to now do increase in all of them so two single crochets in all of those stitches And this will make eight single crochets for this round. At the end, you want to chain four, turn your work, and into the second, make a slip stitch then make single crochet in the next and then half double crochet in your last chain so that's your one leaf down into the next single crochet of this body here you want to make a slip stitch just to join this like that then make another slip stitch in the next stitch to start second leaf then again chain four make a slip stitch single crochet in next and half double crochet in your last chain here then again slip stitch into this stitch next to the chain we started another slip stitch to start the next leaf and you will need to repeat this another two times. So chain four, do your slip stitch, then single crochet and half double crochet, slip stitch into next stitch, one more time do a slip stitch and chain four. And or oh, you already know this slip stitch single crochet and half double crochet in last and you will have one stitch left here for our slip stitch chain one to secure and cut your yarn off leaving a bit of tail for sewing again You want to then uh, grab your needle and hide this tail in so this is our right side and i'm gonna hide it on the wrong side going into a couple of stitches back and forward Once that's done, you can just cut your tail off and set your leaf aside. And now you want to grab your granny square and your strawberry with a needle uh, with your tail. You will need to place your uh, strawberry kind of diagonally to the granny square. So make sure that you don't put it that way because the bag itself is gonna have the granny squares this way so you want to place your strawberry just like this try to place it in the middle you can kind of see uh, those holes where our corner is so just try to align it here and then with your needle start joining it together so I'm just gonna go back and forth and now we'll try to go into the stitches of my strawberry. So where the single crochet is. From the back, then back from the front to the back. And I'm just going to go all around until it's 
securely placed. If it helps, you can also pin the strawberry with safety pins. I'm not going to do this, I'm just going to place it here, making sure that it, it is placed somewhere in the middle. So yeah, I'm just going to finish this off and I will come back once the strawberry is sewed on top. Once you've finished sewing your strawberry on top, you can just come back to the right side to hide the tail in and just go into a couple of stitches. Then I'm also going to go back on the other row and I will put my needle on the back side so that I can cut my tail off. Then you want to grab your leaf, place it in the middle of your strawberry and using the same method going through all three layers, so your leaf, your strawberry and granny square, just sew it on top, leaving the leaves hanging like this so just join along the top If you prefer for those leaves to be flat, you can also go around and sew those edges to the strawberry. I prefer it being more of a messy way. And once you're done joining it together, just weave your tail. I like to go on the wrong side here. And yeah, once that's done, cut the tail off and you then need to repeat this another nine times so you have 10 granny squares in total for the back and now i'll show you how to join those granny squares together so you want to put them right sides out, so you have wrong side inside. Put your hook into this corner here. Grab the yarn that you want to join it with. This is going to be white for me. Pull it through, chain one to secure, and do single crochet into that same space. Oops. And now I'm going to make single crochet in all of those stitches till I reach the corner. And I'll do that into both of them. So going through both granny squares. And just repeating those single crochets till you reach your next corner. I'm gonna put the picture of how you need to join the uh, granny squares all together to shape the bag that way. Just uh, pay attention to a couple of the granny squares because some of them will be facing uh, down while some of them facing up. This is because the bag will then be folded in half and you want to make sure that uh, strawberries from both sides are facing up. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish joining this and then you will need to join the rest of your granny squares in the way shown in the picture. And once you reach your corner, just do another single crochet chain one to secure, 
this is how it looks like so i'm gonna cut this tail off but yeah it gives a bit of a edge of course you could join any other way as well using slip stitches uh, joining it on the wrong side but yeah and once you're joined all of the granny squares uh, just remember that these three are facing down while all of those are up then you will need to fold this in half and fold those two squares on the sides as well and join the rest here so just do that and I will show you how to do the handles once you finish uh, joining all of the granny squares you will have this in this kind of shape you want to then grab it on the side on either of them put your hook into this chain two space and with your yarn join it here chain one and start making single crochets all around so into that same chain two space make one single crochet and continue doing them in all stitches and once you go all around you should have 140 single crochets Once you reach your chain two space, do one single crochet into this chain two space and then continue doing single crochets in all doubles. And you will continue uh, making them all around until you come back into this stitch. So I'm just going to do that and I will meet you at the end. When you come all around, you want to make a slip stitch into your first single crochet of the round chain one and continue making single crochets for the second round as well so i'm just gonna go in all stitches starting with that same first one where you did slip stitch and then make single crochet in every single one so I'm just going to do that and I will meet you at the end of my round two. And at the end of your round two, you will again need to slip stitch with the first single crochet of the round. Chain one. And we will now be doing single crochets up until this middle stitch in this chain two space. So that should be 17 single crochets. If it's different, just aim for this center here. So with the first one, single crochet, and then make 17 in total. And when you reach this granny square corner space, chain 50. And when you finish your chain of 50, you want to skip those 32 stitches here and go in the one where it's in the middle of this chain 2 space. and do a slip stitch to join this chain that's going to be our handle into that same space make a single crochet and continue doing those single crochets until you then reach your next granny squares and you will do exact same thing chain 50 
join it here and finish with the single crochets until you come to your first single crochet so I'm just gonna make my way to the other side and repeat the same thing and when you complete your round three as always you will be slip stitching into the first single crochet then chain one and you should have two chains both of your handles for one and other side and now for the next three uh, rows so row four five and six will be single crochet around but now going into a chain and you will have 164 stitches for all three rounds so as normal you're just gonna start with the first one and make your single crochets as normal until you reach your chain and when you come close to the chain you will then start making single crochets into chain instead so this bit is not gonna be worked anymore you will be going into your chain and you will need to do three rounds of single crochets so each round will be joined with slip stitch chain one and you will then do 164 single crochets so let me do that and i will meet you at the end for the very last row once you finish those three rows of single crochet this is how it will look and you will be finished here on the side after doing slip stitch so again you want to chain one to begin next row which is uh, the very last one uh, do two single crochets just to start it off and then you want to skip this next one and into second one you want to do five double crochets into that one same stitch so that's one two three four and five so you do all of them in one stitch then you want to skip the next one go with the single crochet and the one after that skipped one and again skip one and go over the five double crochets into the next So you will be repeating this throughout your handles until you go all around so once again you skip one do single crochet skip one do five double crochets and you will repeat this all around So as you can see, there is a skipped stitches in between those shells and there is a single crochet. So you do your shell, you skip one, do single, skip one and do shell. So there is always going to be three stitches in between of them, two skipped on the sides and one in the middle. So I'm just going to show this one more time. I'm skipping one, doing single crochet skipping another and doing five double crochets so yeah just keep doing this and i will meet you at the end and i'm now nearly at the end i have my shell here i'm gonna skip one 
make single crochet in next skip one meaning i'm gonna join the round with a slip stitch chain one to secure you can then cut your yarn off leaving a bit of a tail pull it through and you will need to hide this in but this is how it will look all finished up that's how the handle looks like and of course you don't have to do the last row if you don't like how this ends the bag but yeah i hope so yeah, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video and I will see you in my next one.